This is the story of one of the auto industry's most innovative sports car pioneers, Don Yanko. Donald Frank Yanko was a race car driver best known for creating the high-performance Chevys that bore his name. Yanko knew exactly what he wanted, to become to Chevy what Carroll Shelby was to Ford. People instantly recognized Yanko performance as the leader in the muscle car world. Don Yanko was born in Pennsylvania in 1927. His dad owned a Durant motor car dealership, then a Chevrolet dealership in 1934. Don, however, did not immediately join the family business. He received his pilot's license at a young age, then after serving in the Air Force, he attended Penn State University, from which he earned a degree in business administration. He then began racing Corvettes, competing against the likes of Mark Donahue, Dan Gurney, and another racer returned owner, Roger Penske. His flagship performance Chevy was the Corvair Corsa, significantly lighter in weight than the Corvette. Yanko ordered 100 Corvairs from Chevrolet and, along with his staff, converted them into Yanko Stingers. Yanko himself both raced and sold Stingers, but perhaps more essential is he established a nationwide network of dealerships that would soon sell the cars. The Stinger proved competitive and it continued into the following year, but Yanko soon decided to apply what he learned with the Stinger to the Camaro Z28, taking that car into Trans Am racing. The plan, however, was unsuccessful. He soon tackled a new project with a different take on the Camaro. Away from road racing, Yanko saw that the bow tie could no longer compete in stoplight and sanctioned drag racing, especially when stacked against the Hemi-powered Mopars and Cobra Jet-powered Fords. With the help of fellow Chevy performance gurus Dick Harrell and Bill Thomas, Yanko was shown how to drop the 450 horsepower 427 big block engines into the Camaro thus creating supercars capable of dipping into the 11s at the drag strip. The Yanko Super Camaros proved a success and spawned similar 427-powered Chevelles and Novas. By 1969, Yanko had convinced Chevy's powers that be via Copo, central office production order, to plant 427s into cars at the factory, thus saving Yanko the time and monetary costs associated with the engine swap. Unfortunately, in the following year, rising insurance costs sounded the death knell for the Yanko muscle cars. Despite such, Don Yanko continued to race his Chevys. He also continued to sell performance parts through a catalog and his dealership. In 1982, he sold his dealership, which had been family owned since 1934. Sadly, Don Yanko died in a plane crash on March 5, 1987. He once stated that his was a labor of love. A true legend in the world of performance cars, his Chevys are today coveted and highly sought after. Thanks for listening.